Welcome back to the Bike Man For You. You know, the Bike Man For You gets quite a few phone calls on his trusty, dusty cell phone here. The direct hot link to the Bike Man For You, which you guys can call anytime at 631-902-0836. But I get this phone call. I've had it like three times in the past week, and I said, you know what? We better do a video on this. And the video is how to seat a tire on the rim. Everybody thinks, oh yeah, you put your nice brand new tire on the tube on there and you start to air it up and you just air it up all the way and boom, that thing blows up in your face. If you've been fixing bicycles and you've been fixing flat tires for a while, you're going to have one of them blow up in your face and you're not going to let that happen. Try not to let it happen again. It's scary. Your ears ring for a week and it can be avoided and it's simple. The first thing that we like to do here in the shop to make to help seat the tire is to put the wheel into the bike so that way when I air it up I can spin it and look at it accordingly but bike man it keeps bulging off in one spot it bulges off well if it bulges off in one spot it's got to be sucking in in another so it's pretty simple on how to take care of this you can't just go with the air compressor or your pump or whatever it may be that you're using and just air it up to the hill you got to do a little bit just a little bit i'm going to give it usually oh let me back up a second the fatter the tire the harder it is to seat the tire uh 10 pounds not even just enough to you know i mean i got like nothing in this thing but it's just enough and I'm look, oh, 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 it's starting to blow off the rim. Here it comes. You can see it here. And again, I just got 10 pounds in it. Go back to that back man. I'm going to show you right here. See it? Right there. Watch my finger. Right there. You can see it's starting to blow right off the rim. Now, if I keep going, it's going to blow that thing right off the rim. And it's going to be really loud. I, uh, this one here would be, would be really loud. You can see how it's bold. Now, I put a little bit more air in it. And again, it helps if you can spin it. See how it's bulging? Bulging, bulging. So you gotta kinda, now I got a little too much air in there. I can't massage that baby back in. I'm gonna let a little out. And I'm gonna go to where it's bulging and I'm gonna massage it. Massage it right into that spot. Now I'm looking at my rim, bead edge, and here. And I'm checking very carefully all the way along. Not only on this side, but you damn sure better do it on this side as well and make sure that it's seating right. Sometimes guys call me up and it happens pretty regularly on some of these old, old school Schwinns. And with the old, old school Schwinns, uh, they had tires that were specific for Schwinn. And sometimes there might be a little gunk on the side of the rim or this or that, and it's always sucking in in a spot and they can't get it to pop out. Again, this technique, little bit of air, massage it, see what you can do. In extreme cases, don't be afraid to put a little soapy water around the bead. Take a little rag and give it a little soap around that edge to help it pop out when it's sucking in in a spot and you can't get it to come out. The next thing when it's sucking in, okay, this is not if it's blowing off, but if it's sucking in, sometimes going over the maximum recommended inflation pressure to get it to pop out, okay, is might, you might have to do it, but be careful. Look, examine, concentrate, be persistent. Massage it in. Seat the tire on the rim. Usually the fatter, it gets a little bit tougher to seat them. But it, you know, you have problems with the skinny ones like this too. Skinny ones, you know, medium. This is actually a medium width tire. And the real skinny stuff you might have a problem with too because boy i'll tell you the last thing you want is this thing blowing up in your face and your ears ringing for a couple of days one more quickie sometimes okay i'm gonna i'm gonna switch over to this one here okay um sometimes it always it bulges out right where the valve is okay if that is the case you gotta let all of the air out of the tire and make sure that this valve goes in and out nice and freely. What you've done is you've pulled the valve down so tight that the tire is not seating right because their vulcanization 
that's where they attach the valve to the tube, is a little bit thicker and it's not seating the tire properly where it needs to. So again, make sure that your valve goes in and out. Flat tires are probably one of the most common repairs that a home bicycle mechanic can do. And if you're a bicycle shop or you're fixing bicycles for a living, it is a great economical, because people don't know how to do it and they come to you. So it's a real nice economical, whatever you wanna, you know, it's a good deal. Tire seating, very important. Here comes a phone call now. I want you guys to never fear the bike man for you is here. Good afternoon. You got it. Saving the world, one athlete at a time. And what do you do with this thing? You suck on it? You eat it. You chew it. It's a chewy type thing. It's a chew. Thing. It's kind of a. It's kind of like a gummy. Bear.